Um, so let's talk a little bit about Yaz. Cause yeah. we did, we kind of talked about it before. Um, but you know, as we're leading up to the regeneration and Yaz is essentially, so the doctor ends up dying. You know, we yeah. think, we think the doctor's, you know, she's facing off against the master. She's kind of got him beat. Um, and then the master kind of at the last second, you know, he's able to control that entity. Well, once again, don't get in the minutia. There's a lot of things you could question, <laughs> but there's this entity and he has a controller that can make it shoot a laser in a certain direction. And, um, <laughs> it kills her. So right. um, yep. a big blast, you know, makes sense that it killed her, but yeah. Yeah, so she kind of just like typical when you kill the doctor, at least for the most part in the modern series, they have a little bit of time that they can survive whatever, so they can kind of have some last goodbyes. So, um, the yeah, yeah, as carries the doctor goes out, gets her, carries her back into the TARDIS. You think that was? You think that was really? Um, do you think she was really carrying Jodie Whittaker there, or was that like stunt doubles, or that she? I, I don't know. It seems like a. Like, yeah, my yeah, thought was and, was that's impressive, and yeah. that would be it. Would be harder to it, it seems like it would be harder to walk than what Yaz was having a she's time walking. walking very carrying smoothly. The she's very strong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm I'm uh, doubting Yaz's strength. Maybe she's massively strong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that scene was like, wait a second. She just like scooped her up very easily yeah. and was like yeah. walking back in, but. I guess it's better than her dragging her body across the ground. Right, exactly. You know, like fireman little carry little Whitaker over her legal. shoulder. Yeah. Um, but she get she brings her back in into the TARDIS. And then I'm trying to remember all the details of kind of how it all went down. Because were there more people? Weren't there more people in there when, when she first yeah. brought her in? And then they all yeah. kind of were like, all right, you got this, Yaz, we're leaving. Yeah, like then, the, the doctor's there. They're like, is she okay? And Yaz is like, she's fine. Like another... I don't know, probably a denial that yeah. what actually happened. And then Yaz drops everybody off where they're supposed to go, which it sounds like she dropped them off all in the same place, not too far away from where they need to be. But Yaz is flying the TARDIS. Um, and right. then, then the doctor wakes up. Um, right. And so we get the beginning of the regeneration there at that point. And then Yaz is like, hey, look at your hands or whatever. Like, yeah, you know this is happening kind of thing um and the doctor does have that reaction you know you get kind of the the different doctors reactions and they're different like kind of iconic lines right when they're about to regenerate and we do get a couple lines from jody whitaker where she says i think i need more time i think is what kind of stood out to me yeah um and she was kind of like oh this can't be happening i need more time but that it even even the <sighs> And I've been so leading up to this episode, it was mentioned that like the the dialogue that Whitaker was going to have at the end was just heart wrenching, right? Um, there was an article that mentioned that that the special dialogue that was written, and I've been going back and forth in my mind, like what what dialogue was that that like stands out to me? And I think I think the part that stands out to me the most is where she's like. I've loved being me and I've loved being with you. Yeah. And it's like, I think that might be, again, the, 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 I need more time. Like that is, that's that short statement that is going to be her regeneration. But I think that like the closest we'll ever get to any type of admission of I don't know, connectedness, right? For this doctor that always seemed to try to create that distance is that I love being me and I love being with you. Um, yeah. And she does say, I think the iconic line maybe will be kind of whoever, doctor, whoever you are, like tag, you're it kind of thing. Yeah. I think that, that's probably what they wanted to resonate, you know, kind of be like, okay, that's what people remember is her last words, essentially. Like David Tennant's like, I don't want to go kind of thing. She yeah, has a yeah. much more positive outlook on regeneration, I think, which was interesting to see. She didn't seem to be struggling. You know, the different doctors we have, they're, they're essentially dying and kind right. of so they're like in pain or struggling and they're trying to, you know, Capaldi's kind of getting out his little his little speech, you know, as he's suffering, essentially. Um, but she had a very peaceful, 
sitting next to her best friend, eating ice cream, um, you know, saying a couple lines and then just being like willingly going on to the next phase, which was, yeah, I like that. It was unique to her. It was kind of a cool way to send her off. And she always kind of had a very positive outlook as the doctor, yeah. maybe more so than previous doctors. So yeah. I felt like maybe the dialogue wasn't like, as epic as we've gotten from previous doctors and you could even say previous doctors overdid the dialogue i think capaldi's regeneration they kind of overdid the dialogue yeah uh but i thought for her character for the actor for her relationship with yaz i thought they kind of they just did it perfectly yeah i think i think my thing is i was expecting like a very solid um Maybe not a dialogue, but a monologue, like for the doctor yeah. to say. I know you like your monologue. I know you were holding right. out. I do. For this is going to be her. I, I know, her right? Monologue. But I think what we get is the dialogue that she's referring to is reading back through it. It's like, okay, she does have these moments with Yaz. Then she she tells the TARDIS, look after the next one. And then you go on to going to take one, uh, going to take in one last sunrise. And then you have what she says at the final of, oh, the blossoming, blossomiest blossom. <laughs> that might be the, the weirdest thing. thing. Yeah. I know. But then the tag, tag you're in, like just that string of mm -hmm. goodbyes. Um, maybe that's the dialogue they're referring to. And looking at them, I guess, so quickly as opposed to being caught up in the moment, it's like, okay, that is a good, that is a good sentimental goodbye. Um, yeah, way, I liked it. I, 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 I thought they did it really well. I liked the location of it, you know, where she's sitting on the cliff. You know, apparently that's an iconic location I wasn't aware of. Yeah. But, you know, she's sitting there on that arch in the water and the TARDIS, you know, sitting on top of the TARDIS in the sunset or rise. I think it was Eating sunset. Ice cream, yeah. You know, in the in the foreground. And I just and then even her regeneration, you kind of they get the far back shot. She's got her arms spread out and you yeah. see all the energy shooting out as the sun's setting. Like, I mean, I don't know that they've done a more beautiful oh, yeah. or better looking regeneration than yeah. what they did with this doctor. Um, so, yeah, I, I was very satisfied with kind of where they went with it and how they handled hers. Yeah, um, absolutely. They did. Yeah. They did a solid job. That's it's not a. Yeah, it was it was now, very, very. Now, well. Yaz. You know, we kind of were wondering how things were going to end with her, right? Super tragic. Yeah. We thought, I think I expected it to be more tra tragic than it ended up being. I think that it seemed like Yaz got to a point of acceptance at, by the end. And so it wasn't right. this heart wrenching right. division where they're pulled apart. It was kind of like, okay, this is happening. I'm going to move on. And you could even see it on Yaz's face as the doctor was giving her final lines and saying, you know, yeah. I love being with you. I love being me. Like, I think Yaz wanted a little bit more, maybe something else for her to say, like maybe just her straight up saying, I love you or something. Yeah. Uh, but I think Yaz kind of got to a point where she, what she was hoping for wasn't going to happen and kind of got to that acceptance, but you could see the sadness in her face. And almost like as the doctor's kind of given her final lines, you see this look on Yaz's face, almost like she's like, like expecting a little more. What else are you going to say? What else, you know, yeah. is there anything else you want to say to me? You know, right. but ultimately um there's probably some disappointment there but but also acceptance and i think i thought they handled that well too they could have gone you know oh. super romantic with it or they could have gone kind of like they've done with like tenant you know different times with tenant or like tenant and rose kind of got really emotional and you know i'm glad they didn't do that with with these two it was much more simple and i don't know it just felt like the right way to handle it yeah i the doctor that has always kept like very personable hey fam like the it very very group oriented right like mm -hmm. but has kept individuals somewhat at a distance she was true to form to the very end and i yes. think i think that expectation that you saw in yaz i think i had the same like expectation like i i was like okay where is this going like what else is going to be said and but I think you're absolutely right. I think Yaz by this point in time is it not at peace, but has come to accept like this is not going anywhere. Like this is this is what it is. Um she's the doctor. Like it can't be anything more than that. That is who she is. 
and that's what she's going to stay. Um, and she's not sticking around for the next iteration. She's kind of like, no. All right, see you later. And even the doctor says, I think I need to do this next part on my own or by myself. Oh. Like she kind of sent her How, away. Like, All right. Yeah. And, like, and, over. and like, it's for me, that's heart wrenching. But as we've mentioned, that's who this doctor is, right? Like there is, there is a limit to Whitaker's doctors, like inclusion. It yeah. comes to a point and she's just like, Hey, at the end of the day, I stand above everybody else. At the end of the day, there's things that only I can do or things that I need to do alone. And that was one of those things. 